saying it can also be addictive. I go every day, but I go three times a week now. Cece Pettis loves getting a tan, and that's why she frequently hits indoor tanning salons. Positive, like I feel when I'm tan. When I'm white, I, I don't like being that light, like, you know. About 30 million Americans like Pettis go to tanning salons every year. New research finds indoor tanning can be addictive. According to the research from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, UV radiation triggers activity in the brain associated with reward and reinforcement. It's the same type of signal the brain gets when rewarded with things like money, alcohol, or drugs. There's a lot of research out there now showing that people that get tans do get some sort of release in the reward center in their brain that gives them that urge to continue getting a tan. Dermatologist Timothy Joshin says those who can't get tan enough are usually called tanorexics. They just feel compelled to go out and get a tan because they don't feel like they look attractive or they look healthy without their tan. Penis agrees it's easy to get obsessed when it comes to tanning. I think if I don't go every day, I say to my husband, am I tan today? And he goes, you're a tan, you're a tan. I think it's addictive because you look good. Arthi Nehru, KPSP, Local2.com. But the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is currently considering banning indoor tanning for people under 18 years old. And here in California, you do have to have parental permission.